the next big question is, how do you get up on the roof? How do you get the rifle up there on the roof? I have a theory, okay? But first, let's get orientated here. Uh, so they're saying that he got on top of this AC unit, and there's some, there's like a, a I can't remember you call it, a condensing pipe that goes right here. It, we'll have another view of it here in a second. And somehow, there's some distance right here. There's no way he could just grab, get on top of this little roof thing, this little connector here, whatever you call it. I don't see how he could grab this pipe and then pull himself up. He didn't have any gloves on either. Uh, and let me show you something real quick. Come over here, babe. Show this thing. This is... <clears throat> this is a basic AR superior arms. It's already been cleared. All right, so NRA guys, don't contact me. Don't try to take my membership away from me. It's clear. Everything's clear. There's no bullets. There's no magazine. Nothing in the chamber. All right. Uh, so imagine this is probably about the size of the AR he has. I don't know what kind it is. I don't have a uh, folding stock like his. I do have a little bit and, and bring it in a little tighter. Uh, so imagine Crooks. He's 110 pounds, 115 pounds. And you're going to mean to tell me. Well, they're saying they, they think he hit it up his shirt. And he, that's why he, he was walking like this. You mean to tell me this kid had a rifle like this right here? And he's gonna shimmy up. He's gonna hop on this damn thing, and he's gonna shimmy up a pipe. I uh, I don't think so. Here's another thing. As far as I could tell on that rifle, I mean, no other YouTuber or anybody has ever really brought this up, or these specialists and snipers and stuff like that. No one has brought up. He didn't have a, a, a sling, you know. Um, now with the sling, like he has it strapped on his back. That's a different story. I think, you know, I still don't think he has the, the strength to pull, to do a pull up on this metal building here. <coughs> Could be wrong. I don't know. But no way in heck he got up there without this having a sling on it. And another thing about the rifle is, I still don't know if there's a scope on it. I don't know if there's a scope on it or iron sights. We still don't know. I can't tell. Let's go on this video. Now I like this guy. Jeff Stroff is the <coughs> is the YouTuber. He's real good. He's been real good. This is embarrassing right here. <coughs> okay, let's go. Oh, here's the rifle. I can't tell crap from that bit. Why is it? Why is it every picture we need? It's all grainy. Uh, hold on. Today from the FBI director Ray at a congressional hearing telling us how many shots the shooter got off and how many shell casings did they okay so let's orientate ourselves again this is the AC unit uh, on the other side of this thing down here the police are up here in the second the three counter sniper uh, police officers are over here in this second floor building. And Crooks is firing from here. It's firing from here. Stage is right here. And here's the other counter sniper team one and counter sniper team two. So here's the deal. The whole blind spot, this whole thing and this kid knows where the blind spot is. This kid knows to go. This kid knows to go right here. I mean, he has an associates in engineering, you know, but that ain't, it's not some tactical, tactical training, you know. This kid do. The whole, there's only one blind spot, really. I mean, we got the water tower, but I don't wanna go into that. Uh, he knows that they can't see through this tree he knows that they're over here in the second floor building. He's up there. Pretty much whatever he wants to do. There's this is the blind spot in the whole the whole thing. Now I've seen some other buildings that a professional could take out, could could have done something. But for this kid, 
van de, ja. I gotta calm down. All right, let's see here. I want to show you something I just found. I just literally doing my research again. Stepper. Okay. Okay, hold on. There's no ladders here. That's why they had to bring this one just to get up there. Okay, hold on. No ladders in this area. Oh, God. Okay. These guys, I just just noticed this just now. These are the, so Trump's okay. He's already been shuttled off, off site. Uh, and then the police officers put the fence with the secret service guy and they're going up. They, they brought their own ladder. Okay. Now here's the deal. They didn't go up on the building that Crooks is laying on dead as a corpse. Okay. They went on the building right behind it. You follow me? Right behind it. All right. And guess what? I just freaking noticed this. I've watched this video. It's like my drill sergeant said in basic training. He yelled right in my freaking ear. Details, details, details. I still have nightmares about it. Whole basic training. Putting together a claymore and you make a mistake. And he runs up. Details, private, details. They went up right where I think he went up. This is where I think Crooks went up. I'm going to show you a, a good view of it here in a second. <coughs> it's weird. Because I think Crooks went up on this thing right here and then got up on this little porch like deal. Let's take a look. There ain't too many conspiracy theories that were spreading lies around. <coughs> no okay, I'll agree. There's no ladder that he brought. Just they brought this ladder. The they carried this. And right up here is where I think he came in. I think he, came, I think he took the same path that they took. And here's the building over here with the window I'm about to show you. And Crooks is over here dead. Crooks is over here as a corpse. Oh boy. How far apart these cells are. A little strange that they went up that way. See how wide they are? They appear to be about 18 inches wide. I still can't tell anything about this grainy ass pick of this rifle. This is like how far the gun is from. Can somebody just tell us if there's a scope or not? I'm just curious. We're checking. His body to see there ain't no way they're doing CPR on that guy. It's got a hole in his head. <clears throat> Hold on. <sighs> now, if he was able to break that rifle down and stuff in the backpack, I don't see how. I'm trying to think. I don't see how, but if he was able to, that's one way he could have got up there, but I don't think that's the case. Well, that was somewhat disappointing. Yes. Because even though we saw that they were counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shells, I want to see them. I want to see yes. the shells on the ground there. I want to see, like, you know, the evidence markers and stuff like that, like you would normally see at a crime scene. Now, granted, this was a body cam video. This was not a video meant to show the shell casings. It was just the police officer climbing up the ladder and going and talking to the others and looking at the scene there. So hopefully we will see more information Hold on. released from the FBI. Okay, now we're gonna get to the part where I figured where I think I figured out what he did. This guy Jeff, um uh, this last name. Stroff, he's put a lot of time into this thing. Alright, let's see here. What could you do? Of course. Confidence. More precision. Would you attack more pens? What could you do with the best combination of flight? To them, after the shooting, and the cops put that tall ladder there. Because the police needed a safe way to get investigators up to the roof. Okay, you mentioned oh. that uh, the wood. Let me show you more things important. I'm going to show you.
None of this other this is where the congressman went, uh, the view, Eli Crane. You stick your head out the window. And this is so where, Eli Crane okay, hold on. Stuck. I'm going to go back. Let's go back. We had a clear line of sight to him. Okay. And his so the officers just went up here. I just showed you. Is this is where there. Crooks was. So okay. Now, this is the other side of the building where the three counter uh, sniper teams were. And, and, and their blind spot is where I showed you. In order for them to see Crooks over there, literally have to stick their head out, this win out the window. Okay? In that picture of Crooks, I can't even figure out it looks like he's laying down. He's got there's grass, there's concrete. That picture was li literally taken at the base of this building. I'll go back and find that part here in a second. And, and thank you, Jeff, for figuring that out because uh, it's bothered me. It's like it looked like he's laying down the grass or something. Never knew where he was at. He's actually in the base of where these police counter team snipers are located. All right, now I'm gonna show you where where I think he did. Yes, if you're standing. Hold on. But this is the closest window. This is the window that Eli. Okay. So that picture of crooks that they have is was taken right here. Right here in the corner of this thing. He's down by the grass. Anyway. So crooks is down here. The only way they can see this kid is that they stuck their head out the window and looked down that way. Again, only blind spot really. I'd say the only blind spot really within 300, 400 yards is where is where he came up. Police officers we just showed you, they came up right here. Let me get my orientation, yeah. Yeah, they came up over here and they walked and they went here through here and this is where I think Crooks, I think Crooks came up. Let me show you. And also when the congressman and all them went and checked out the roof and all that, as far as I can tell, you know, I would have liked, I would have liked to seen a video of somebody doing what they said he did, as in getting on top of an AC unit, climbing up some little thin pipe, and then hoisting himself up and supposedly with the rifle. I just want I just wanted to see somebody do it. Is that too much to ask? Really? I don't think so. All right, this is gonna get good. I'm about to get you some good, real good video right here. Okay, here we go. Who faces this way? The South team faces this way. Somewhere around the time they got word that there was a guy on the roof over here, which would have been right around 6.09 p.m., two minutes before the shooting, is one.
Give me the strength to defend liberty and freedom. I have the strength! Hope y'all enjoy.